Okay, pushing things back and pushing back the music for a bit, and then I'm welcoming you to this uh, edition of Okanet and Wonder Wednesday. It's Wednesday, the 8th of May 2019. Boy, am I glad to be here. I'm still the Black Lady Who Rocks, I'm double O, the Black Lady Rocks, and I'm fresh and fly as always. Okay, how's your day going? Mine has been splendid so far. So good. I know in some places it drizzled, in some areas it rained, and in some it's pretty hard. But however you may find yourself, the, the motivation thing is for you to keep going. If rest if you must, but hey, keep going. Okay, it's a Wonder Wednesday and I bet you're wondering, hey, what she got up her sleeve today? We're talking about education. Yes, I know that people believe that education, uh, when you talk education, they talk about the four walls of a classroom. Uh, what about the fa your foundation? How much do you know about it? How much premium or value do you place about on information about where you come from, what they do there, uh, their culture, food, clothing, or you just believe in what you see on the social media, on the internet and say, okay, Africans jump on trees. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but hey, hello, that is so old school. We have skyscrapers. As a matter of fact, that beauty you're in was built by a black man. Yeah, okay. So I have someone in the studios and um, we're going to be talking about bringing back our tradition, helping our children to discover who you, we, they are, helping them to um, keep the tradition alive and then believing in themselves. Not a thought party kind of uh, information, but something that would keep them going. I mean, everybody say, oh, I'm American or a Briton, or well, the Britons are celebrating the new big, big boy, royal baby, and then the Americans become, God bless American. What about Nigerians? What do we say about ourselves? What do we tell our children, whether in the diaspora or those who are here with us? But it's so sad that some of the things we could learn are taken off our curriculum. But then, everything we could learn, we could start from now, from information, education, and spicing it up with some entertainment, we could get them in fun. And so today, I have someone in the studios. Remember, it's a Wonder Wednesday. Okay, so, um, don't wonder away. I have Princess Sharifa Akurade in the studio, all the way from US. Yes, 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 yes. That's the, uh, yes, the US you're talking about. Uh, yeah, United States actually. Donald Trump's United States. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good morning, Mum. Good morning. Right. How are you today? I'm happy to be here. All right. And so uh, this morning, uh, uh, we're going to talk about keeping traditions alive. That's what I'm going to talk about before we go and talk about your book. You've been in the state for quite some years. Many years. Absolutely. Yes. yes. How Absolutely. long was that, has that been? Um, 30 years. Three decades. Three decades? Yes. Right. Was I born then? I was young then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, share with us about their background. Thank you for having me. Uh, having lived in the United States for so long, and I have three children that you know I give birth to over there. Um, the, the when I, I attended the, an all-white university for my master's degree, really? and 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 actually it's called University of Chicago. It's uh, number four in the world uh, as far as ranking is concerned. And uh, I did experience that question that you <laughs> <laughs> that you alluded to earlier. Uh, asking about you know living on trees and <laughs> things like that. Maybe you know. And I also taught um, um, in some children actually asked me they call me Miss A because uh, accurately it was hard for them to to pronounce. So Miss A, so when did you start wearing shoes? I kid My you goodness. not. I kid you not. I kid shoes? you not. Yes, I kid you not. So um, so some Americans are you know not well um, informed about us uh, so you know they, there's there are some derogative or you know uh, words that can be used against our children especially